Are we good? All right. Uh, shalom, shalom. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who do well. Mm -hmm. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144. This is GMS the Land Camp. You know, part, you know, the brothers part of GMS, GMS the Land Camp. This is Brother Kasha Kuala. Brother Rock. This is Ab. And good morning, y'all. And we're going to push this word tonight, and hopefully it's edifying uh, to, to y'all and ultimately to the elect. All right? And we're going to get into a topic. Uh, the topic at hand is called. Uh, let your faith overwhelm any doubt. Because if you have the faith in your Haobashi and your Shai, that, it, that doubt demon will, will, will crumble. Alright? Because when you have faith in that day, your Haobashi and your Shai will be with you. And you will have no doubt. And he'll, he'll show you the reason why your faith is so important. You know, the brother earlier today mentioned spiritual power. If you have any type of doubt in that day that you may not get out of that or in a certain situation, you may not get received that spiritual power. An angel may not come down and help you out because you had an ounce of doubt. In Romans, the 14th chapter, and as a matter of fact, get Romans 14 real quick and then we can uh, jump into that Matthew. All right? Mm -hmm. It's like at the end of um, Yeah. It's like the last verse, I think. Yeah. Yep, read that. Read that. Matthew 14 and 23. And he that doubted is damned. Yeah, Romans 14 and 23. Yeah, call it again, brother. This is Romans 14 and 23. And he that doubted is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For right. whatsoever is not of faith is sin. There you go. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. So doubting is a sin. All right? Don't have doubt in your power, man. Hey, your heart about Shimei al got you. You just have to have the faith. Let your faith overpower any doubt or any demon that's been on you that's making you doubt. You know what I'm saying? Just jump to that Matthew 21. Right, this is Matthew 21 and 21. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, yet shall not only do Ye shall, so like ye shall, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And you know what? And you know that's that's spiritual, all right? Because if you have faith and not doubt, right? Because even, because you know some there's some of uh, you got the word hill and mountain those can. Are synonymous with uh, when you look in it spiritually, it's synonymous with like a government or whatnot. We're doing that right now. We're out on the highways and byways because we have faith, and ultimately, it's a reverence and fear. You know what I'm saying? It's a reverence and fear towards Yahweh Shemayashah, but we have faith, and we're moving mountains right now, man, through the Spirit. We're breaking down the strongholds in America. We're moving. This this government, this 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 evil, this evil empire, man. We have faith. You know what I'm saying? You got some brother? Or uh, 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 this is uh, it's like uh, it's like I, I lost it. Are you in James? James, yeah. It was hey, if you're in James, get one and five. Man. Yeah, yep. That was that's that's yeah, that was that's exactly that's what it was. James one and five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High. That gave it to all men liberally. If you if you lack wisdom, ask the Most High. Go to the Most High. Go to Yahweh Bashi and Yahshai. He'll give it to you liberally, like free. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> it's true. Don't cost nothing. He'll give it to you free. Keep going on. Okay. Uh, it says uh, and up and upbraided not. Upbraided meaning he won't talk. Meaning like this, he won't talk behind your back. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. There you go, nothing wavering, that doubt. That there is doubt. You know what I'm saying? Ask in faith. And 100% faith, man. Have that faith in your how about Shimon Shai. Nothing wavering. Nothing wavering. I know we, I, you're still holding that account with Peter. Kind of, yeah, I got it. You know, well, we'll finish this first because it's the same thing. 
you can it waver it, you know what I'm saying, going side to side. Mm-hmm. And that's the spirit because when, when Peter walked on that, that ocean, the waves were going side to side. They're wavering. They're wavering. And the moment he took his eyes off, you know how it shot. Or had a little bit of doubt, a little wavering in the spirit, he saw. We'll get it, but go ahead in, in that James. Just a little bit more, yeah. Uh, it says, uh, For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. See, that's the spirit. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's just, we can jump into that count, but if you have any Yeah, Yeah, because uh, faith is concentrated. All right, you have to, you have to have your eyes single single focus. When as soon as you like the brother said, as soon as you look off that path, then 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 you you know that's death. All right, we're walking a tightrope. So if you have faith, you're not gonna look down. You're not gonna look around you. You're gonna be focused, and you're gonna and you're gonna um you know have that faith to guide your steps. You're not gonna need to look down. All right. <clears throat> what do they say when um you know when you're up somewhere. You know, real high up, all right, and, and um, you know, you, you might maybe walk on a bridge where you could, you know, see the heights. You might be afraid of heights. What do they always say? Don't look down. Because once you look down, what is that? That's doubt. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna get that fear, and doubt is really uh, um, doubt really stems from fear. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, let me see. Uh, I'll get that account in Matthew. Uh, yeah, that's one thing, man. You know, when you deal with the spirit of the Lord, you can't have that spirit of fear on you. The scriptures say that the Lord doesn't give us the spirit of fear. Yeah, so we can't be afraid of these things, man. We gotta have faith in the Most High. And you know, we gotta continuously. How do you build your faith up? By continuously serving the Lord. You know, pray to the Lord. You know, fasting. You know, be being sincere in in in, in how you carry yourself, what you do. You know, and, and, and constantly, you know, covering yourself with the, the spirit of the Yahweh Did you get that? Or yeah, I got it. You got it? Uh, this is um, Matthew 20, uh, 14 and 23. Okay. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed and tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the of the night, Yahweh went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, "It is a spirit." And they cried out for fear. But straight away Yahweh spake unto them, saying, "Be of good cheer; it is I. Be not afraid." He was telling them to have faith. Yeah, have faith. Exactly. Have some faith, man. I'm don't be don't be afraid. Yeah. And just like I said, um, you know that that word uh, fear is synonymous with doubt. All right, so you don't be afraid, man. In that day, when you catch a hell when them, you know, AK forty sevens and 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 the, the motherfuckers are in your face, man. You can't be afraid, man. You gotta have that fear that you built up with your house shy and know that he has your back. All right. Because Yeah, this is um, Psalms one eighteen and six. It says, "The Lord is on my side; I will not fear." What can man do unto me? Beautiful. Yeah, that's the spirit. So you can't you can't fear man. Okay? And I, I'm gonna build on that scripture too. This is um Sirach 2 and 10. It says, Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Mm-hmm. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken. Mm-hmm. So you 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 lack faith. If you if you're afraid of what's coming, because at the end of the day, you know, and our brother in the um the Tampa camp, you know, um, Atas Warmer posted, yeah, that's uh, posted it. Salakia, Salakia, um, GMS, I hate my life. Um, Abu Baja reposted it, and he was going into like, yo, time like like real tough times are coming. You know, the, the men of the Lord are about to be, you know, they they want to start coming at us. Yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the title of the video is called Warning to All Hebrew Israelites. Warning to All Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. You know, the scriptures say that no judgment is going to start at the, Lord, at the door of the Lord. So, you know, for the most part, we got faith that the Lord's going to protect us. We, we, we are, this is a faith based thing. So we got to build our faith up so that if, if our door, if we are some of those men where, you know, because a lot of active, we're going to be okay for the most part, but it's still, you know, we're just praying and hoping that that's true. It's really up to the Lord. 
But for the most part, if we are in a situation where, you know, like Kasha Paul just said, you got an AK at your head and they're telling you to denounce the name of the Lord. Do you have the faith to say, fuck you, Esau? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, we're going to stand firm. We're going to stand firm in what we believe in, man. If we got to go, if we got to starve the debt because we refuse to eat swine, that's what's going to be. Look at the Maccabees. And like the brother was saying, Colossians, the third chapter, kind of speaks about being rooted in ground. Kind of. Just a little bit more. Yeah, go ahead, bro. All right. Uh, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. That fear. Yeah. He, he got afraid, man. Now, Peter had Yahweh Shai right in front of him. We don't even have that comfort, man. It's crazy. Which Yahweh Shai is the comforter. Yeah, and he still, his face still wavered. Okay? So now these are the accounts in the scriptures to what? For us to learn from. For us to look at and be like, well, you know what? As much as the great words that Peter did, in this situation, man, he lacked his faith. And he had Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so now we're in a position where we got to be even stronger. Mm -hmm. We got to be, our faith got to be built up even more. Mm -hmm. You know, because we don't have Yahweh Shai on the earth with us, showing us great wonders, doing great miracles. You know? That's going to be bestowed on us. Oh, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Which which low key uh, miracles are, are, are happening in front of our eyes, man. We watched that video yesterday, so like that movie yesterday, Blade Runner. And he said, man, you, you're acting like it because you haven't seen a miracle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. You know? Yep. You didn't see, you never seen a miracle. That's why you're fake. That's why you're coming. That's why you're coming to be like this. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, at, at um, Great Millstone and the way that, you know, true the apostles on down, pushing the word of Yahweh, Yahweh, you see their fruit and you see, you got men, in, this word is getting pushed out in, in, in Holland, in Alaska, in, 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 in parts of Africa, okay, all over the Caribbean, they got men teaching in Spanish, you know, the Apostle Gabbard teaches in Italian, which more likely you're going to have more Italian Jakes waking up, this is, those are low-key miracles, yeah. You know, because the Spirit of the Lord is allowing these men to, 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 to wake up. You know, but at the end of the day, when you do wake up, now you got more work to do. Exactly. You yeah. put your hand to the plow. You put your hand to the plow. You got to build your faith up. Yeah. Faith is what we got, man. We don't got no weapons, bro. That's all we have. We're not, we're not over here going to the range like these dumbass niggas, UPK, learning how to shoot yeah. or learning to. Man, get out of here, man. Right. Got quick so well, I, I just got. Let me finish. Oh, right. uh, Thirty-one. And immediately, how shy stretched stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, "O thou little of faith, wherefore did, did thou doubt?" Y'all shy reproved him. Mm -hmm. Did he not? Does that not? He told him, "Y'all man, he of little faith." I'm right here. <laughs> and he seen. Well, he saw every. Need? He saw everything that how shy did. What you need? Yeah. You're supposed to be running on that water, man. You're supposed to be like, man, you know, I'm getting to you. <laughs> but that's Jake, man. Jake, Jake lacks faith. You know, and that's that's one of the main reasons why we we always stand firm in, in, in what we say. We're not trying to get none of y'all to join onto us. Because y'all don't we don't need faithless fucking bitches around us, man. And this shit is serious. We can be persuaded. You know, and, and the scriptures talk about um Kasha Paula dealing with um, you know, um they're gonna give you up to their judges in that day. That. Yeah, yeah, um, I forget exactly where it's at, Salakia. Like, yeah. But we don't want people around us that's gonna oh yeah, the brother's over there because because you lack faith. All of a sudden Esau's knocking at your door and now all of a sudden, yeah, it's, it's you are saying Jesus. That's why we're not that's why we don't want that, man. This is about like I said, when you when you wake up to this, bro, you gotta work. You know, when Neo was woken up by Morpheus, he didn't then be like, like he had to work, build his faith up. Remember, he had to go and do the jump. 
Yeah. And he fell. Mm -hmm. They were like, well, no one makes it out the first time because your faith has to be built up. You know, and just like in that movie Blade Runner, that guy had a lot of faith. Because yep, his, his countenance never changed, man. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful movie to watch. Sounds very really spiritual. Kind. Of. Okay. You want to bring the priest up and okay. bring it up first, Gosh, your father, and this, is, uh, this is Matthew. I'll start. I'll start at 17. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 17. And I'll start at 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. That's the first thing we got to understand, man. We the sheep of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? We're not, we're sheep, bro. And sheep requires what? A shepherd. A shepherd. And the sheep have faith in that shepherd. Exactly. And they follow that shepherd. They follow that shepherd. Earnestly, man. Yeah. We follow our apostles and our elders. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of our ability, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We seriously adore these men. Yeah. And all your people talking about, man, y'all following man and all that. You have to. Then Yahweh Shai, when he, when, he, when he saw the disciples, he's like, drop that, follow me. Then what did like, Paul say? Be follows me like I am of Yahweh Shai. Like there you go. <laughs> you, follow, you gotta follow Paul? Yeah. And, and did y'all Christians <laughs> listen to y'all pastors? <laughs> Ain't y'all following him? That's facts. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Um, be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as dogs. Nigga shit. Judgment. Nigga shit. They're letting off shots outside. Because it's fucking Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween, yeah. Okay? And so like you for, you know, okay. I ain't trying to do too much, you know. Harsh words, but this shit is vaccine, man. Niggas out here killing and shooting at each other. Yeah. You know, we were coming home and it, it, niggas got their faces painted up and all that's of demon shit. And here we are trying to just do the work of the Lord, you know, push this word out, build our faith up. Meanwhile, all you Christians are at some costume party. <laughs> and that's just the honest truth. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Kashapar. Verse 17, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And before, you know, we, 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 we got on camera, we were talking about certain accounts, and we got to beware of certain men, you know? And the brothers were, were telling me, were reproving me. Like, yo, bro, you may have to let these men know, let them go, and, and we, that's what we do as brothers. Because yeah. we, 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 we love each other. That's part of our yeah. heritage. Yeah. This whole no snitching shit, man, that ain't Israelite culture. Okay? If you're evil and you're wicked, we snitch on you, man. And we get that shit out of here. We don't condone it. Y'all Christians, not to switch off the subject, you know, the subject is really on faith, but y'all Christians don't even have faith. You know? Y'all allow, y'all allow that shit to stay around. Here comes a faggot in the church. Well, it's okay. Now the whole choir is facts. The past is a fact. Okay? Y'all allow this woman to do what they want. Now all of a sudden they sleep with everybody in the church. Now they're talking in the church. Mm -hmm. That's not an Israelite thing. We stump our wickedness when we see it, man. If I see something in this brother, brother, you're going off. And I want him to do the same to me. And that, that's, that's called love, man. Because uh -huh. he'd rather, he rather reprove me than to see me fall into, and then ultimately into the, uh, into the hands of death, man. Uh -huh. He'd rather to a bro. Stop doing this, or you need to do this, or this is gonna happen. And after that, it's it's, it's whether I uh, it's from you here or or from there. Mm -hmm. Like what does that say, Ezekiel? Kind you know of. what I'm saying? Whether they listen or forbid. Kind of. You know what I'm saying? And more, you know, if, if you're a prudent man, you're gonna hear that reproof. You're gonna right. hear that admonishment. In, he, in Hebrews, it says we exhort each other daily. Kind of. That's what we're supposed to do. Kind of. Proverbs 27 5, you know, open rebuke is better than secret love. Secret love? <laughs> secret love. That, like, if you're doing something in secret, ah, oh, yeah, you just gotta keep doing it and yeah. see what happens. That's off. That's not love. It's not if love. you see something going on, something's wrong, if you see your brother going on the, a, yeah. a, a, a bad path, or if you're just trying to, you know, build a brother or not, do it quickly yeah, and say right. something about it. Speak up right. about it. Right. It's gonna help that brother in the in the long run. 
and the blood will be off your hands. That's right. Okay? I'm going to continue in that. Thank you. Uh, verse 18. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Verse 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought of how or what ye shall speak. And why, why, why does it say that? That's faith. For faith. For faith, man. Mm -hmm. For faith. Because it's not about you. It's not about you, you know what I'm saying? In, 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 in the world that y'all live in, man, y'all do all this wicked stuff, and then y'all take your money and go pay a lawyer so that the lawyer can judge for y'all. When the time that's coming to you, man, it ain't going to be no lawyer. It's right. going to be the spirit of the Lord is it's with you or it's not with you. Right. And in that day, if it's not with you, you're going to be put to debt. That's right. right. That's it. There's no other way to put it. No death is that state. Y'all, a lot of you Israelites are going to be put to death in America. Point blank, period. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Don't get mad at this man. He, we just tell y'all the truth. Nope. Scripture said, I might not become your enemy because I've told you the truth. Well, that's the truth, you niggas. <laughs> and y'all, y'all, when y'all done with your with your costume party tonight, and then you're freaking out, taking all your zans and all the drugs, because Halloween is a highly Highly, highly demonic day. So when y'all done, October. yeah, when y'all done doing all of that, go pray to the Lord. See what the heck, man. Come on. What we got next, man? Um, I'm going to finish this in 19, and this brother has a precept. Come on, come on. And then we can jump back on topic with the, if you have a precept. Okay. Uh, oh, so I was trying to find out what I have, but y'all go ahead. But we'll, we'll jump on back on topic about faith. Faith. Like the come faith overwhelm over that doubt. Come come yeah, yeah. I got this some. is a... Uh, Verse 19, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Yeah, yeah. and and just, just you know, you know how shy you can say that, you know, it's not me, my, these are not my words, man. These are the words of the Lord. Even how shy have faith in the Lord, man. And even him, he, you know, he understood, hey, man, this is not my program. Y'all Christians are too proud, man. Y'all are too proud. This is Jeremiah 9 and 12. Who is the wise man that may understand this? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken? That he may declare it. For what the land perish and is burned up like a wilderness and none passes through. But the point of, about that was in the beginning. We read the, the, the top. Because we just read Matthew chapter 10 and 19. Take no thought of what you should speak. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 9, 9 and 12, who is the wise man that may understand this? And through the Spirit, mm -hmm. um, the wise man who may, who may understand it is the apostles and elders who are on down. And then we got the knowledge. Wisdom is the principal thing. We're all that get it, get understanding. Yeah, understand. yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Keep going. And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken? And who is he to whom the mouth of the Lord has spoken, man? The Lord speaks. We are the mouthpiece. You know, we're the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. That's why we're not gonna take no thought of what we should speak or say when right. we get delivered, because yeah. it's gonna happen to some object. It's gonna happen to some of the elect. Uh, they, you know? it's, this ain't Hollywood, man. It's, it's, it's not know? Hollywood. It's not like, you know, yeah, we do have a lesson, brothers, going to take on what the topic is. Mm -hmm. We might write a couple of scriptures down, but you know, it's not like we got a script in front of us and we're like going through like we're gonna say this, we're gonna say that, man. You know, and, and that's why, you know, Clash of College just said, hey, man, we're going to try to jump back on topic and get over here because... The spirit just moves. The spirit moves. Yeah. Because it's not about... It's, it's, it's about the word, man. It's about the word. You know? Um, I would tell you, Pastor, but I mean, it's cool. It's still taking it's still, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind. You know, but that's all it is. We don't... This is not something that we we plan, man. This is the spirit of the most high. Go ahead, Gumar. It's Luke 17 and 5. And the apostle said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And that's straight up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Baba Kasha. We just read um really James. Good. We just read James, the first chapter. It says, if any, any of you lack wisdom, pray to the Lord, he will give to you liberty and upgrade if not. You know what I'm saying? And if you and the wisdom goes a part of it, you have wisdom to they the apostle had enough wisdom. 
to ask Yahweh Shai increase our faith. Uh, they understood, man, my faith needs to be increased. Yeah, and if I can say that's something, you know, brothers need to pray for. You know, when you when you pray to the most high, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, you need to be asking for more faith. You need to be asking for more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You need to be asking to read more, to study more. Yeah. You know, these are things that, that, that you have to, 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 you know, beg the Lord for, for more faith. That you yep. increase, that, that you can, uh, that you can, um, you know, endure through whatever, whatever the Lord throws at you. Okay. You know, okay. but uh, Luke 17 and 5, and the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, which a mustard seed is very, very small. I think it's, it's a the smallest seed. The smallest seed, exactly. Uh, you might uh, say unto the uh, you might say unto this sycamine tree that be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it should obey. Uh, let's see. I think yeah, that was because that's, okay, that, that right there is kind of synonymous to what we just what we opened up with in yep. Matthew we'll twenty one and twenty one right. Two. But that was, a, I think that was speaking of the parable of the fig tree. You know what I'm saying? He said, if you if you have faith and not in health, you can move the mountains. Mm -hmm. If you have faith of a mustard seed, you know what I'm saying? And not doubt. That's right. You got to have, it's, it's pivotal. It's like paramount to let your faith overwhelm, or, uh, let your faith overwhelm your doubt, man. I got some. Come, come. This, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 1, verse 3. For forward thoughts separate from the most high, and his power, when it is tried, will prove the unwise. Give me Job, uh, chapter, uh, give me Job, chapter 15 and, and, and uh, 12. Reread that. Uh, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. For forward thoughts separate from the for, most high. Forward thoughts separate from the most high. Doubt. Does that say forward or forward? Forward. So forward, there you go. Mm -hmm. Because there's, that word is, is, is like constantly. It's contrary. Uh, yep, it's contrary. Okay. Uh, give me Job. Four, uh, Job 15, 14 and I got so oh, You said 15. 15 and 12. <coughs> and and sure. hold this, okay. and then we'll get to you then. Yeah, Job okay. 15 and 12. Why doth thine heart carry, carry thee away? Okay. And what do thy eyes wink at? Okay. We read that in Solomon. For Forward thoughts separate from the most high. Forward thoughts. Baba Kasha, Job 15 and 12. Job 15 and 12. Why doth thine heart carry thee away? Why does your heart, why does your forward thoughts carry you away from mm -hmm. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? Which is doubt. Why, why does the water, brother? Kana. He said, it's, it's easy. It's simplistic. The scriptures are really simplistic. Why does your doubt, why does your fear, why is your wavering, why are you, all those words that we brought out in the scriptures, mm -hmm. afraid, why does that stray you away from the Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai? Your power. Okay. Yeah, mainly because y'all don't y'all don't have a real connection with Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. They're not plugged into the power. They're not plugged into the power source. Yeah. They're plugged into Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're plugged into Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? And all this all these other portion that y'all y'all are into. So mm -hmm. y'all not gonna get the portion that y'all really need to deal with those demons. Because it's really demons that, that are fucking with y'all. And they play in that realm of the world that y'all are living. But in order to, you know, and this is for the sincere men out there, in order to, in order to fight those demons, you got to pray. Mm -hmm. You got to fast. You know what I'm saying? You got to work, man. You got to put work in. Mm -hmm. And when you pray, the Lord the Lord is going to see that just as you ain't going to, okay, man. Like Gamal was saying, you ask for a, a, a heavier portion of discernment, a heavier portion of, 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 of faith. A heavier portion of, 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 of just having, you know, the ability to, to, to get more energy so I can I can get up and read and I can mm -hmm. go do this and go to camp and don't feel down. Yeah. But you got to pray to the Lord. Any area you're lacking in. Yeah. You know? And I got a quick precept. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. This is uh, Mark 11 and this is uh, 24. It says, therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, Believe that you receive them, mm -hmm. and you shall have them. That so belief is key. That's it's key. That belief is key. It said the same thing, man. 
They said the same thing to James. Kind of, yep. Mm -hmm. You got to have do it in faith mm -hmm. and not doubt. You have to believe these things. If I walk the shot, we read yeah, that. Yes. That's Mark 11, 24 says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. That's why you say Amen. Amen, and that's why you say Tawab at the end of your prayers. Right. Right. Amen, Amen means it will be done. God will be done. So that's be faith. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. Y'all Christians pray, but y'all pray. Look, look, look at the examples that Akim was bringing up in terms of when you ask them the most side. Did anybody here say pray for a new car? <laughs> Anybody right. here say pray that you know to, for a new house? What or pray just, for a, the Lord said to be a good husband. Yeah, well, just like you said, the Lord's not hearing that shit anyway, because because they're praying to Jesus. Yeah, right. You know exactly. Yeah, You're right. But even if you know, so y'all are totally out of whack, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all are praying to the wrong. Y'all don't even serve the St. Paul we serve. Yeah, you're praying to the wrong God. Praying, you're praying for the wrong things and praying to the wrong power. To, yeah. To a demon, yeah. you know? Exactly. Because this, this scripture here, you know, y'all are going to say, well, whatever you ask for. You know, it's not dealing with all that carnality, man. Exactly. He's not dealing with that. Mm -hmm. In the times that are coming, if you're praying for, for, for a new car, man, you're going off. Huh. You're going off. Ain't nothing wrong with having a, a nice car or you know going to something, but we're looking, we're about to go into martial law. The chip is about to be made mandatory. You know what I'm saying? The missile's about to be fired over here. And you worried about what? Pray for the Lord for a greater portion of faith. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Pray for the Lord to discern. To have better levels of discernment yeah, so you can spiritual, tell. Spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. Not, not carnal gifts. Not carnal gifts. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. brother. Uh, Come on, God. Yeah, but it's, uh, no, I you know, like, if any other brother got, you don't got nothing else? Nah, I really got nothing else. Um, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, come. Yeah, you got to smooth it out. Yeah. Pop the shot. It ain't nothing wrong. It ain't nothing wrong with feeling in the spirit, man. Yeah, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Because. Pushing off the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're in a time now where, man, this is all that matters, man. It's all that matters. This is all you got. You know how Christians be like, Oh, we're in a grace period. Technically, yes, we are in a grace period to build our faith. Yep, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what this is for. To, mm -hmm. and, and that grace period, yes, Christians, involves keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities. Right. That's a part of the faith. Mm -hmm. You right. know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shai is the law. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you have faith in Yahweh Shai, you're going to want to try to keep the law. That's right. Yep. But yes, we are in the. Oh, what did Paul say? Um, um, put it paraphrasing, don't use your liberty in a time to satisfy your lust. The right. lust. Yeah, yeah, okay. The lust of the flesh. I'm, I'm loosely paraphrasing, if any brother can find it, but that's not what the Christians think the grace period is. It's, it's not, not really what it is. Right. Grace isn't just a free for all, free for all sin, sin fest. You know? Go Halloween, Halloween go to Halloween. Shot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You got that, brother? You got no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I, I had this one preset. I don't know yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just to kind of close yep. it up. Yep, come on. This was uh, this Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing time, that mm -hmm. now is high time to mm -hmm. wake out of sleep. Mm -hmm. For now is our salvation there than when we believe. High time to wake up out of sleep because now is our salvation nearer than what we believe, man. That's right. All right? It's a high time to wake up. You know, yeah. there's still some elect that needs to be waking up. And there may still be some elect that are caught up in uh, that Christianity. Right. Hey, you know, that's what we out here pushing for the elect. Yeah. Okay? It's a high time to build your faith, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and just, you know, keep pushing. Because really, you're going to have to have faith to, to even wake up the elect. To you have to have faith in yourself. Have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, to, to, to continue pushing. And, and, and you know, um, you know, because we all get them doubts, you know. I might not be a man. Of, you know, them demons popping all of our heads. Like, yo, you're not fucked up. You know, certain things you did might might weigh on your spirit. But guess what? You gotta keep pushing and and just uh, you know, let you know, pray to Yahweh about me all shy that He push you through that, exactly. and, and and so that you you conquer and you endure through the end. Got it. So, so yeah, you know, so with that, you know, we want to say let your faith overwhelm any doubt. 
All right. Got it. Hey, martial law is coming. Got the it. pestilence, famine, and disease is coming. The chip is already here. Mm -hmm. All right. So build your faith while you have the chance. The window of opportunity is closing fast. That's right. Got it. All yeah. right. Kind of, we, we're primarily talking to the hopeful elect, you hopefully know, either. you know, and, and the men that are sincere in this, okay? Exactly. Don't get caught up, Christians, you know, because now all of a sudden we're targeting y'all to think we're trying to keep, you know, y'all onto us, man. We don't give a damn about y'all. <laughs> we're going to keep pushing the word of y'all, Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, I'm just going to bring one more scripture out. Hey, brother. And this is, um, this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. It reads, Awake to righteousness. And sin not, for some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. Mm. I speak this to your shame. Mm. So y'all as Christians don't have this, the 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 faith. Y'all don't have the knowledge of Yahweh, and we speaking this to y'all shame, man. Yep. We're, we're putting y'all to shame. That's right. Okay. So like like Kashpala said, you know, not to stray from the topic, but hey, man, this is not our program. You know, the spirit just you know, and we flow with the spirit. You know, but this is about. Building your faith, not letting all the bullshit in the world, you know, surpass your faith for the Lord. Um, that's right. It, it can't. It, you gotta have more faith to deal with what's what's out there. Exactly. You know, and when you build up, man, now you're gonna understand who you are. You're gonna shave off that old man, you know, and start coming into the new man. Mm -hmm. You know, and once again, this is for the sincere Akim out there. You know, you Christians, you can turn up that, but you're not gonna get this. So we gotta keep building ourselves or building our faith up, okay? Y'all that's going to be put to shame, in the meantime, we're going to keep doing the work and keep exactly. building our faith up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who were well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144, first fruit. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.